To own a bike 150 years ago really was something quite special. It was probably the equivalent of owning a Rolls Royce today. And there was no shortage of imagination in design. And things in 1987, it seems, just haven't changed. Produced the first of a new breed of speed machine, designers raced ahead. Until about eight years ago, this was the state of the art in Tour de France cycling, the regular diamond-shaped bicycle for use in all stages in the race. Now take a look how things have changed. This is the new bicycle now for all the time trial stages in the race, such as this afternoon's prologue time trial. You can probably see the difference. It's totally aerodynamically designed. The sloping pop tube here. The upturned handlebars to keep the rider with his regular racing position. The flattened spokes for sliding through the air. The front wheel, in fact, one inch smaller than the back wheel here. And this itself was sheeted with graphite. Although the wheel is heavier, once it's rolling, it really does go quite quickly. The bicycle is shaped like an arrowhead, built for speed, because the Tour de France these days can be won by the fractions of a second. And this is a bike that might do the job. If you want to buy one at home, though, I'm afraid the price isn't quite so streamlined. It'll probably cost you in the region of three and a half thousand dollars. The near four miles prologue time trial that opens the Tour de France is a short sprint, with each rider taking his turn. But if you miss your start time, you go when you can. Milan Jerko had set the target time, but then came a determined effort from rival Eastern Bloc rider, Poland's Lech Piasecki. There are no Eastern Bloc teams in the race, but a handful of riders have permission to race in the West. Piasecki, who won the 